little foot. All right, let's go. What's up, y'all? Yep, me TV here today. We're back, <laughs> and we're here to show you guys. Packed with the jacks. Packed with the jacks, as Nick <laughs> likes to call it. Uh, today, we're going to take you guys through a full beginner's chest workout. This is what I used to use when I was younger, and um, we're going to go through it today because a lot of you channels out there show you what to do, but they don't break it down specifically. So this is for you young guys out there starting out, and we're going to take you through the exercise. We're going to do three sets of eight for each exercise, and we're going to do three exercises for chest here, all right? We got the demonstration over here. Nick Sicardo is warming up on the bench press. But before you guys get to that as your first exercise, I want to talk about warming up the chest area and any muscle group before you hit it. Because the main thing you don't want to do when you're uh, hitting a muscle is pull the muscle. You don't want an injury. Right, Nick? No injuries here. No injuries. want to warm up. So to warm up here, we're going to start with maybe some push-ups or something. Alright, if you can't do push-ups on the floor, like I said, do a bench, maybe 20 reps, you know. 19, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, once your chest is warm, you're gonna hop over the, the barbell bench press over here. As the beginner Nick is gonna demonstrate. Alright. Now he's gonna grab the bar. Middle fingers right here. It's called the neutral grip. Alright, you're gonna take it off and you do eight repetitions here. Let's go. Notice how he's bringing it to his chest and bringing it up. Make sure you do not bounce it. If you bounce it too hard, you can hurt yourself. I know from experience, dude. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now, after eight reps, he's going to wait about 35 to 40 seconds and increase the weight by about five pounds. All right, so now. So guys are first starting out. You're gonna to wanna to build it up first nice and slowly and get the body used to the weight it's pushing. Maxing out today, kid. Yeah. And after 35 seconds goes by, you can go into the second set. You can do eight reps again. Alright, there you go. There you go. Man. See how he's hitting his chest there? Remember, no bouncing here. Lightly hit the chest, using it as a point. And bring it back up. We're doing that eight times. Okay, after eight reps again, he's gonna wait 35 to 40 seconds. Right. Increase the weight by five pounds, go for his last set. But if that is too heavy, don't go higher, just stick with the weight. But some of you guys out there are doing so I'll say increase it by about five pounds. Yeah, again. it's hard, it's hard to judge when you're just starting out, so you gotta feel it out. You might need to use more than five, less than five, you just gotta feel it out, but make sure you're getting the eight reps every yes. set. So that one was too heavy, remember? It was bad, sloppy form. Well, not sloppy form, but like you couldn't get it controlled. I'd say stick with it and do it for another set. Or if it's too light, increase it by five. Just add five. Let's roll, Nick. All right, neutral grip. He breaks it off, touches his chest. It's eight repetitions here. There you go. Boom. Relax it, boom, three sets of eight. Done for the first exercise of this chest routine. See that right there? <laughs> now we're gonna move over to the flat, flat, the flat bench dumbbell press. And uh, oh. come on over here. Uh, hold on guys, this is important. I'll be right back. Uh, we'll this one. All right, we're gonna do about the same thing here. Three sets of eight repetitions, 35. 40 seconds rest in between each set. All right, same thing, we're gonna start off light. Remember, you're just starting out lifting, you wanna get everything used to it, your body to adapt to the um, to the exercises so you can eventually add more weight and stuff. So next thing to demonstrate here. Same thing, we're using a five pound dumbbells here, Nick. All right, same thing, eight repetitions for the first day, for the first set, sorry. All right. It's almost like the bench press, but just allowing a little bit more range of motion, get the chest a little bit bigger here. You go, same thing, just bring it down, the side, presses it back up. Notice how he doesn't bring the dumbbells together, allows you to use momentum to lift the weight instead of the actual chest. So, resulting in that, the chest won't grow as well as it would have if you don't touch it. So, after eight repetitions, same as before, it'll wait about 35 to 40 seconds in between. All right? 
If that weight was light, increase it by five, but if it was too heavy, stay with it. I mean, it might not be too heavy, but you know, for some people it might. Yeah, it's too light. Hey. You know, it might have to go up 10. It's too light, it's too far. Like a general kind of weight class. You know? 35, 40 seconds, goes by. <laughs> Nick's gonna grab the 10 pounds. Actually, well, we're, we're you, missing the 10, so we're gonna grab the 15s. Grab the 15s. Remember, just add five, that's it. So for the second set here, you're gonna do the same thing. Eight repetitions, nice and controlled, feeling that chest contract. Eight reps here. It's a shirt. I like the shirt. It's all truth right there. All right. After he's done with that, same thing, last set here. This is our second exercise. So on the last set, he's going to wait about 35 to 40 seconds again. You can either increase the weight by five or you can stay with it. Nick, what are you going to do? Uh, a, little, a little light for me. Uh, it's a little so light for I'm him, so he's going to increase it by five. Let's roll. 500. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go, brother. Whoa. Eight reps here. See that chest contract right there? Comes back down, stretches it up. Thumbs up, squeezes it together, does the same thing four more times. Let's get it. Boom. Good. Place them back in the knees, come right. back up. So then we're done with a second second set. What up? What's up? At least that's up. We're done with a second exercise here. We did the flat bench barbell press. The flat bench dumbbell press. Now we're gonna go with our last exercise here, Nick. Flat bench dumbbell flies. Let's get it. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises here. All right. The key here is to go light and really feel the chest stretch. And when you come up the top, you really got to squeeze. Nick's going to demonstrate here. Just grab the same thing, a nice light weight you can get eight repetitions with. I'm missing 10, so. Use the 15s. All right. He's going super light on here. Even the pose go super light. This exercise is meant for the stretch. All right, we're gonna do eight repetitions here. Come up, kill it. All right, notice how his elbows are bowed. All right, and he comes up top and he squeezes. Keep the elbows bowed, because you want the chest to really stretch. See how it brings them out and brings them back in? And up top, you want to almost hug, imaginary hug. Big bear hug, it's your imaginary friend up there. <laughs> Same thing, eight repetitions, comes up, waits 35 to 40 seconds. We're on our last exercise here. You guys are gonna see some growth. Remember, and, uh, you take same it. thing as the flat dumbbell. When you're bringing them up, you don't wanna to touch them together. Yeah. It gives your chest a break, so. No, no bouncing. You Remember. You kind of stop a couple inches before yes, you get exactly, to the top. Exactly, it says it all. <clears throat> Remember, muscle growth doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it takes a while, but uh, it's rewarding. So always stick with it, never give up. Oh, now same thing, you can increase it by five, you can stay with it. My buddy Nick here is gonna, he's gonna stay with it because for flies you really don't have to go you don't have to go that heavy. You mainly want to stretch and get a good feel on it. Alright, let's get it. I got a second set here. Same thing, eight repetitions, last exercise for that huge ass chest that's gonna grow on you. <laughs> a huge ass chest. Look at that. Arms bowed up top, he's just imaginary hugging. Really feeling that chest. Really getting this nice and big. Perfect. Alright, same thing. 35 to 40 seconds. Rest. Usually count in your head. Don't wait too long. So many people waiting like five minutes between the set. Yeah. And that's not doing anything here. Really. That's letting all the muscle fibers recruit. You're holding here, you want to break them down. You want to break down the muscle fibers, keep them broken down. 35 to 40 seconds goes in between. Nick stays with the same weight, and he's gonna do his last set here. Two repetitions, let's get it. Perfect form here. You want to fuck everything up.
Alright, that's it for the chest routine. Uh, it's perfect and it's strictly for beginners here. Uh, starting out young, not knowing really what the, what the grab, what it? to use. <laughs> you getting this? You got it, you getting it. Well, look at that. Got it in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's strictly for the beginners, you know, the young guys out there who are looking for a platform to sit mm -hmm. on and uh, give some sort of guide on what weight to use and what type of exercise to start out with. And, uh, you know, keep, stick with it. Eventually, good things come your way. So, that's it. Get Big TV here today. Monster Music Carter, as always, a pleasure demonstrating for you guys. So stay with us. We're going to throw some more shit out there. That's it, y'all. I'm Cameron Grow Jr., and you're watching. Get big TV. <laughs> <laughs>